Inventory management is a common task of pharmacy technicians because poorly managed inventory can literally affect the workflow, increase customer complaint, and think of it as having stacks of cash sitting on your shelves. So in this video, I'm gonna share some important terms and tips that will help you manage the pharmacy inventory efficiently. So keep watching. Hey guys, this is your pharmacist Cedra and welcome to another lesson on pharmacy tech study guide. If you want to be a great pharmacy technician, then you must know how to manage inventory. Inventory basically refers to any goods or medications that a pharmacy will use in its normal operation. And a sufficiently stocked pharmacy inventory typically includes basic stock plus safety stock. Now basic stock is the amount of inventory carried on hand to meet an average demand level, while safety stock is the amount of inventory kept on shelves to account for the fluctuations in demand. In order to efficiently manage the inventory, you must know the turnover rate of your fast moving and slow moving items. And for those who don't understand what a turnover is, uh, let me explain. Turnover rate is basically the number of the days it takes to use complete stock of an item. So you should know the turnover rate of the fast moving and slow moving items. And as a general rule, you want to keep about one to two weeks worth supply of fast moving on the shelf and about a month's supply of slow moving. And the whole process seems very complicated and a lot of work, but don't worry. Most of the pharmacies have automatic ordering system that keeps check and balance of the inventory so you don't have to really track things manually. But there are certain things that you as a pharmacy technician must track manually. So those are the things I'm going to focus in this video. So the first thing as a pharmacy technician you can do to manage the inventory efficiently is to make sure that the automatic ordering system works smoothly. My first tip is to keep on hands accurate because often when we manually try to place order or pull expireds or recall medications off the shelf, and do not follow the proper return and salvage procedure, then guess what happens? Counts are messed up. The counts on the shelves will not match the counts in the computer. But why is it a big deal? Well, because in this case, the system may over order or under order inventory, and both the cases are not in our favor. Too much inventory on shelf means we are holding dollars on shelf, and too little inventory means we have lost our sales. See, if you don't have a medication that patient needs, uh, they won't wait. They will simply walk out of your door and go to another pharmacy. And that takes me to my next step that always ensure that you have adequate supply of the base stock and small supply of the safety stock. Think of base stock as the foundation from which you will fill the prescriptions day in and day out and think of safety stock as uh, the inventory that you hold to protect against uncertainty. If you notice any of your base stock or fast movers are running low and system is not replenishing them or ordering them somehow, then always check with the wholesaler website to see if there is a, a recall or shortage of the medication, if it's on back order or simply the medication could be on allocation. And if that's the case, see if an alternative brand of the same medication is available. And if it is available, then just manually place the order of the alternative medication, just so you have it on shelf. Because like I said, if you don't have the medications, patients won't wait, you will lose the business. Now, let's say worst case, the medication goes on back order and is not available for some time, then make it a point to check and see what patients are on this medications. And if they are on that medication, then make sure you inform them, the, let the doctor know that the medication is on back order so the doctor can prescribe an alternative medication. In any case, your patient must not have to wait just because the medication is on back order. You can't just tell the patient that, hey, sorry, I can't do anything because the medication is on back order. It's your job to contact the prescriber and make sure that the patient gets the alternative medication. And that's why inventory management is so, so important. We wanna make sure that the health and safety of the patient is not compromised 
just because we're not managing our inventory properly. And having said that, make sure you check your shelves for expired medications. Not only you want to ensure that any of the expired medication does not make into the patient's uh, prescription bag, but also when you check the soon to be expiring medications, you can save money by returning them to the manufacturer. My next tip for inventory management is to engage with patients. Know your customers and their needs. If you have patients who need rarely used medication or just an expensive drug that you normally don't keep on shelf, then ask your customer to remind you shortly before they need the refill. So that way you can order the medication uh, before patient completely runs out, you fulfill the patient's demand, and you won't have to keep unnecessarily expensive medication on shelf, which if not used may end up expiring and result in dollars lost. My next tip to properly manage the inventory is to make sure that your medications are stored in proper storage condition. One of the jobs of pharmacy technicians is to make sure that when they are putting away the shipment, they place the medications where they belong. And by that, I mean, make sure you place the refrigerated items in the refrigerator, the frozen vaccines goes in the freezer, your fast moving goes in the fast track, and so on and so forth. Just because let's say if you put your fast moving on the regular shelf, then you may not even find the medication and end up ordering more. See, as a pharmacy technician, you play a key role in receiving orders from drug suppliers and storing the drugs in the pharmacy at the right place. And the medications that have been expired or have been stored inappropriately can lead to altered drug activity, um, significant reduction in the potency, and possible harm to patient. And these effects are referred to as inventory spoilage. It's important that pharmacy technicians continually validate the storage conditions in the pharmacy and also check all stocks of the medications regularly for expiration date. My last tip is to make sure that you do proper returns or credits. Returns and credits could be basically for any uh, damaged or expired products, uh, dropped pill. And speaking of dropped pills, Remember, drop pills cannot be given to patients in any circumstances. They should be salvaged and ideally taken out of the inventory and labeled properly for store credit or proper disposal. And also you may wanna open a claim for unused expensive medications on shelf. Let's say you place a special order of an expensive medication for a patient. First of all, I would make sure that the medication is covered on patient's insurance. A patient really wants it and is willing to buy uh, regardless of whatever the copay is so you should be open and upfront with the patient you run it on insurance let the patient know what the copay is and once patient agrees uh, to get the medication then you uh, place the special order and once you receive the medication i recommend that you do not put the prescription label on it until literally patient is at the out window picking up the medication because trust me, I have seen this many times that we place the special order, verify with the patient before ordering it, and still something happens, patient changed their mind and they do not pick up the medication. But by that point, a technician has already cracked open the bottle or just slapped the label on the bottle, in which case uh, it's an expensive medication and cannot be returned because now it's considered adulterated or used. In order to get a full credit from the manufacturer, the medication should not be open or there shouldn't be any prescription label uh, placed on the manufacturer bottle. All right, so there you have it. These are some of my favorite and most important tips on pharmacy management. I personally use them all the time as a pharmacy manager and teach my technicians as well. Just remember, you as a technician are the backbone of any pharmacy. So you've got to be efficient in not only customer care, customer service and customer safety, but also pharmacy need. I encourage you to empower yourself in your roles because then pharmacists like myself are forever grateful for you for taking charge of such roles because then with your help, we as a pharmacist can focus on our clinical role. Thank you so much for watching and being a support. Like always, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments or email me and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss on any of the important videos on health and pharmacy. I'll see you next time with another important lesson on pharmacy tech study guide. Until then, take care. Bye.